Today's story is Duck for President by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs clean under the beds. Cows weed the garden. Sheep sweep the barn. Duck take out the trash, mow the lawn, and grind the coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies, the cows are covered in weeds, the sheep are covered in dust, and the duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and he hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go farm election tomorrow. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. Voter registration. Voters must live on the farm, show valid ID, be at least this tall. The mice got together and protested the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted, and the results were posted on the barn wall. F. Brown, 6. Duck, 20. Farmer Brown demanded a recount. One sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of a pig. The new tally was... Farmer Brown, six, Duck, 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. But you know what? Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought Duck. So that night... Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners. He marched in parades. He went to town meetings. And he gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the local newspaper. Duck wins by a nose. Mrs. Governor, 299,999. Duck, 300,000. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. The new tally was Mrs. Governor, 299,999, Duck, 300,002. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. Duck left his staff in charge and he hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted, and the results were announced on CNN, Decision America. Mr. President, 50,546,165. Duck, 50,546,170. Duck, 
defeats the president. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. The new tally was Decision America. Mr. President, 50,546,165. Duck, 50,546,180. Duck still defeats the president. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very, very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, Duck thought. Then he checked the Help Wanted ads. Duck needed no experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography. The end.